Pleas for change answered. The Jefferson County District Attorney is filing a motion to reconsider the 110 year sentence given to a Colorado truck driver. Rogel Aguilera Medeiros was convicted on more than 40 charges in October for causing a fiery crash that killed four people on I-70 back in 2019. Now, under Colorado sentencing guidelines, the 110 years was the minimum sentence possible. That sentencing has attracted widespread attention. A change.org petition calling for clemency has gotten millions of signatures. Meanwhile, videos have appeared on social media calling for truckers to boycott Colorado. And the case is now even getting the attention of A-list stars like Kim Kardashian, who tweeted out today, Colorado law really has to be changed and this is so unfair. So. Of course, the motion to reconsider is just one step in this process. But as Denver 7 CB Cotton explains, activists believe this is a positive step. When Rogel Aguilera Maderos cried out in court during his Senate scene hearing, it seems only days later the world would cry with him when millions started signing a petition asking for Aguilera Maderos' sentence to be commuted or for Governor Jared Polis to pardon him. As of Tuesday evening, the Change.org petition has close to 5 million signatures. The CEO did call me. I got to call him back uh, because they've been amazed at the outpouring of support. Kim Kardashian West sharing a series of tweets talking about the case, asking Governor Polis to intervene. On Tuesday, Domingo Garcia, president of the League of United Latin American Citizens, said they welcome the involvement the case has received. Uh, Kardashians have been involved in social justice issues, and we're just glad they took over uh, and added their name to Rohit's uh, petition. But perhaps the biggest announcement came from the Jefferson County District Attorney herself. Alexis King filed a motion asking for a hearing to reconsider the 110-year sentence Aguilera Maderos received. But it's a very good, positive first step. Attorneys for Aguilera Maderos agree. You know, something out of the norm like you did in Rohit's case where an individual um, gets 110 years, uh, it, it, it opens our eyes and it's an opportunity for us to take a look at what needs to be changed so this doesn't happen again. The judge who sentenced Aguilera Maderos said he disagreed with 110 years, but went on to say his hands were tied because of Colorado's mandatory minimum sentencing laws. And that's, that's a problem from the start. I mean, it treats every case the same when, when facts are different in each case. It takes away uh, the judge's responsibility. Leonard Martinez said his client deserves a sentence that matches other similar cases. You know, when you take a look at the precedent that has been set, it, not only in this state, but throughout the country on what people are facing for this type of, uh, of case, and, you know, anything from six months to two years is, is what they're facing. He knows some may not agree, but now it's time for Governor Polis and the courts to decide Aguilera Maderos' fate. And the governor has confirmed that his office received an application for clemency, and they're currently reviewing it. In Denver, I'm CB Cotton, Denver 7. And the calls for change will continue tomorrow. A rally in support of Rogel Aguilera Maderos is scheduled for 10.30 a.m. on the steps of the state capitol.